Hello and good evening and welcome to tonight's Euro Truck Simulator Steam stream even. <laughs> Steam is obviously the um, SCS software from where you buy the game from, download it, play the game, etc, etc. Hope you're all well, hope you all had a good day, and a good evening, and uh, if you're watching this back, hopefully you're having a good day, you're planning on having a good evening. So, we're playing Euro Truck Simulator, we're in London, this is our truck. That's the front of the truck there. We flash the headlights, we look round to our checks, make sure all the beacons and everything are working. So everything's running good, running fine. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find our job. So we're going to go job market, cargo market, we're down here in London, and we're going to take some res a reservoir tank to Southampton. So we're inside the cab, we're ready to go. Gonna follow our little sat nav down there. do look more realistic to what they are in real life. For the lorry enthusiasts out there we drive in a Scania. Some say the best lorry on the road. 
in actual fact in this game in ETS2, the Scania and the Volvo are the two lorries with the most power. Turning right into here. Turn right. In the case in right. We are finished. Sit on that. Find our job. London to Southampton Reservoir Tank. We're going to take the job. Now, some people like to uh, back this up in camera mode. There, you've got your mirrors there, your mirrors there. I personally like to cheat. I use this front camera there. Put my reversing beepers on there. Put up a full wave on. Just gonna slowly and steadily bring it round. Just like that. For those of you who don't know the game, the aim is to get it in the, in the box area. <laughs> there we go. When we're in, it goes green. As you can see, that's a perfect bit of parking right there. Perfect bit of parking. So we're going to switch off our electronics. Switch off our engine. We're going to get our load. So there we go, we're all loaded up now. Just for the benefit of everyone at home, I'm going to uh, just lower the volume, the game volume. That should be a lot better now. You um should be able to hear me over the top of that. Hopefully. Bit of professionalism going on now. So we're back in our truck. We're gonna go in driver's view here. Let's we're do get this. our electronics on. We're going to start our engine. I should do. Uh, right, so we're in our truck then. We've got a core box. We've got our bed at the back there, we've got our pillow, we've got our sandwich, we've got our laptop. Let's 
from the front view there we've got our truck lights are all working beacons are all working there's our load everything's working back in your cab Ruben take that handbrake off pop off our four-way flashers we don't want to be flashing Hampton. Natural fact that sound is still very loud. It's all a game of trial and error. Obviously, I, I know that you'll like to hear me more than uh, the game. My voice is very important. Or impotent, as some might say. So, let's give that a try. Back in the camp view. Top of it. I think if we turn everything down a little bit there just to make it a little bit easier on the ear holes. And hopefully you'll be able to hear me better. We shall find out. We've got a green light here. We've got to get moving. London town. So, for the lorry enthusiasts out there, we're driving a Scania. I don't know what Scania it is, I don't know the make and model. I'm not an enthusiast. However, I know it's a scan, yeah. So we're turning left here, we've got our left indicator on. Ready to alert all the traffic behind us, because as you can see, there's lots of it. Let me know which way we're going, and we've got a green light. Swing around, swing around. So we can see on the information tab there, we're going to Southampton. The company's called it Transinet, not Traninet, Transinet. We're hauling a reservoir tank that weighs 11 tonne. It's 
next job is going to bring us in 7,291 pund. You can also see on that information tab that we've got 3 hours 50 minutes to get there. And we're pulled into the sat nav. We should be there in 2 hours 12 minutes, so plenty of time. It's just time to stop if we need to fuel up or break something or need to detour. A little bit of time to kill. Currently doing <laughs> 61 mile an hour. Now obviously some people like to keep the game as realistic as possible, set your speed limit, you can set your speed limit to 56 um, to make it as realistic as you like. My favourite part of multiplayer is of course the CB. Fully functional CB radio. Anyone who's on that channel will hear you. And talk to you, you can talk back. I hear them at some point. Same as the CB as well, channel 19, you will only hear and talk to people on channel 19. If someone's on channel 20, they'll only be able to hear and talk to someone on channel 20. Fairly straightforward. Sign up there for Southampton and Bournemouth. Beautiful part of the world. Which is where we're heading.
Now some of the roads are realistic, um, some aren't. You've got your M27 here, it seems to run into the A30, but obviously in real life it wouldn't. The service is over there. Some of the roads are fairly realistic. I think the M6 on this game runs into the A6 or the A1 into the A6 or something. Some are a bit, a bit more realistic than others. It's a shame we're doing this in the dark, as it were. Pop our indicator on there. Coming over into this lane. The game does look much better in the light, as you can see by our little clock down there on our sat nav. Game time is 2:30 in the morning, which is why it's dark. It looks much better but later on when it lights up. Daylight hours. Much easier to see and watch, a bit easier on the eye. By the time we've done this run, we should uh, should be light. So we're coming into Southampton now. Fifty mile an hour. Fifty mile an hour speed limit. Speed camera there on the left. Just slow it down, that was 30 mile an hour, we've got a speed and fence for that. Again, if you don't want to keep the game realistic, you can turn your fines off so you won't get fined, you won't get told off or nothing for um, speed cameras and broken speed. To here, which is Turn left. Transinet. So there we are on that. Now we have the choice of either parking it up ourselves, and that's where they need it over there. We can play it safe, so if you've got a double trailer, you won't be able to reverse it onto a bay. So you can play it safe over there. Or if you're feeling lazy, can't be bothered, in a hurry, click that and it'll park it for you. We're going to park it up. Because as you've seen before, my parking is phenomenal. <laughs> so we're going to spin our way around there. Probably do it from there. Tap brakes so we don't run into the fence. Pop our four ways on. Is that our four ways on? Straighten them up a little bit. Oh, I reckon we'll do this in one. And there we go, we've got what we call our green ding. So we're in with the green ding. Back in cab mode then. Put our handbrake on. Switch our engine off. Press enter to unload. As you can see. We've uh, unloaded, they've taken the tank off. This is obviously my trailer that I bought. This is what I like to use. I've got various different trailers. Um, 
I might try a low loader for the next one or a curtain cider for the next load. There are options on the game to um, not use your own trailer, you can use the ones that the jobs that they give you. So we'll go to job market, go to freight market. Now these are the jobs that they offer you. You don't have to use your own trailer with this. You can choose their trailer. There's a nice one there. So we're in Southampton at the minute, so we've got Transinet to Folkestone. That looks good. That's Southampton to Ramsey. There's Ramsey, GBM. That's over there in the Isle of Man, look. Southampton to Frankfurt. What's the difference between that, look? Silver tractor and a gold tractor. We've got some trailer of logs here to haul. If you're using your own trailer, you use your cargo market. From Southampton to Rennes in France. Southampton to Birmingham for staying in this country. Got another reservoir tank, probably the same one. Southampton to Paris, some truck batteries. Cologne. Obviously, the different trailers that you've got haul different things. So. Your um, flatbed, like we're using, hauls things like that. Your curtain side, you've got refrigerated stuff as well. All does different things. So. I reckon we'll have a little trip to Birmingham. We could go to Paris. No, we won't go to Birmingham. We're not going to haul the same thing. Ah, there we go. Look, we can go from Southampton to Portsmouth. Cross over the old ferry there. And down to Wren. Now, as I said before, I'm using the Pro Mods, so the map might look slightly different to someone who's not using Pro Mods. Um, I'll go through the map with you a bit later. It's quite a vast, big area. This goes up all the way up to Iceland and over to what I call the War Zone and stuff. So, there we go. We're going down to Portsmouth and down to Wren. Where are we picking our load up from? Let's have a wee look. Let's turn our electrics on. Let's go. Let's go. Turn our engine on. Uh, we're picking it up from here, I think. So take our parking brake off. So make us repark again. I think. I'm going to go over here. So stop that. Yeah, Transinet down to Wren. We're going to take the job and it's going to go and make us park over there. So, I mean, why would they want to make it easy? You can see the rear steering axle on the trailer. I actually find that a little bit more difficult to park than one that hasn't got a rear steering axle. Come at a funny angle. There we go. We've got a green ding. We're not even in the space. <laughs> Nowhere near it. And we've got a green ding. 
So we're going to turn out a handbrake on. So a fully functional handbrake there. Handbrake's on. We're going to switch off. And we're going to press enter. And we're going to get loaded. There we are. We've got our steel beams, whatever they are there. They've changed my trailer number plate now. I used this trailer last night and it was a... Oh no, they haven't. It's a 19 plate trailer. And we've got... Oh, it is the right one. 19 plate truck. Last night they had the wrong trailer on. Slightly illegal. So we're going to get our electrics on. We're going to start our engine. We're going to take our handbrake off. And we're going to go... Reinforcing bars. We're going to turn them four ways off. Reinforcing bars. From Southampton to Wren. Company called Globeer. Globeer? Globeer? Glob. 21 ton. speed here because we don't want to get another fine going through the old speed camera there 39 hours on 27 through there in the 30 legal keen and real this little box here tells you if there's anyone within the area because we're playing a multiplayer you'll be able to see if any other trucks are going to play nearby it's just me up there at the minute So we're heading on down to Portsmouth. We're going to get that ferry from Portsmouth over to France. on some of these bends although usually with this trailer and this kind of load it's I wouldn't say hard to topple or impossible to topple but it has been known Still known in the area, when we see someone we can give him a shout on the old CB or give him a flash or a wave out window. Services coming up here. We're alright for fuel. All with half a tank. Perfect. Cruising at a steady 70 mile an hour. <laughs> For those of you who like to keep it real. Oh, oh we're going to miss our turning. No, we're not. We're coming off here. Okay. Turning right here. So we'll stop at this junction. We'll just pop it in that camera mode there. We'll have a little look that way, nothing coming. We'll have a little look that way, nothing coming. Let's go. We've 
can see now game time is coming up to four o'clock in the morning. It's starting to get a little bit lighter. Hopefully a bit more easy on the eyes for when I'm watching this. Fully functional windows on this lorry, by the way, so we can open the window there. If you look on the right hand side, you see the window coming open. If you get a bit warm. Close that back up, four o'clock in the morning, it's a bit nippy. It's a little bit nippy, nothing coming that way. Swing her out. There we go. second camera there which isn't always the easiest to drive on We're coming into 50 mile an hour here that was the other horn by the way two horns on these trucks One's the built-in standard, one's the extra ones you can add on. Speed camera there. There we go. So we're turning right at this roundabout. You can see the little horns there on top of the uh, truck. There we go. That's your third camera for if you're trying to pull up close to a fence or close in traffic to the person in front of you. That's your reversing camera really, when you've got your head out of the cab and you're trying to reverse in. That's your bumper camera. This is one of my favourite views. It's the, it's the one that can watch you from a distance. Get ready to turn left. I can't remember the name of that camera, but I like that one. There we go. Turn left. So we're going to be turning left at these lights down to the ferry port. We can see our big ferry there in front of us. I'm not sure why we've got an echoey sat nav. Turning right in here into the ferry. No customs, they trust us, we're British. And there's worker Bob over there. There's them cruise ships over there, look, the ones that have been stuck outside uh, Weymouth and Bournemouth. Big cargo ship there. Huge. Very nice. So we're going to get on our ferry. We're going to go in cab mode. We're going to put a handbrake on. We're going to switch off our engine. And we're going to get on our ferry. When we get on our ferry, I will see you finding a new route.
Here we are then, we've reached France, we've come into Cherbourg. We now got to remember to drive on the right hand side of the road. Cherbourg. Going to, we're going to Ren, aren't we? Let's just check the timetable. We're going to Ren. We've got 25 hours to get there. According to the sat nav, we shall be there in 3 hours 30. 3 hours 37. I mean, it's got plenty of time to stop and have a sandwich. Maybe a French baguette or a croissant. Croissant. We got our lights on. Yeah. Who's this bloke over here? Look, a bit dodgy. Wandering around the streets at twenty to five in the morning. Gonna hang a left here. Starting to get a bit lighter now. Um, we'll get it. See much clearer. There's someone drilling. Near drilling. Who's drilling? Five o'clock in the morning. Ha! The neighbours will love you. few twisty turns on the road then to get out of Sherbourg according to the map. Someone's been nibbling with sandwich there but the mice have been in. Dilly 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 Sherbourg walk. Incidentally, we're playing this game with the GT29 steering wheel, which is PlayStation steering wheel, but it does work on PC. Uh, the pedals come with it, and it's all connected. So you've got your accelerator, brake, clutch. If you buy the gear stick extra, you can use your clutch. It's fully functional. Change gear. I haven't got the gear stick, so we're just running this on automatic. It was meant to come off there, but it's the map. And we've got 25 hours to waste. We've got to carry on. The old cruise control on here at 69 mile an hour. Cruise control on. It's not only are we now on automatic, we're not having to change gear, but we don't have to press any pedals either. Feeling proper lazy.
reinforcing bars, metal bars. Don't really need the beacons on the truck, I'll put them on. Probably use them if we was hauling a trailer, a uh, tractor, train or a, an excavator. Garage coming up there, I can see it on the map. But we're going to carry on regardless because we've still got half tank fuel. I said, carry on regardless. should have been a sun. I really should. So we're coming off the exit ramp here. We know there's nothing coming to multiplayer on the map. You see little blue dots when the other players are around so you can see where on the road they are if they're coming up behind you if you're coming up to them and they're in front of you another garage come up here on the right the rest area as well The old Scania from the front. Someone coming the other way there. Flash, hello, look, you can flash these beacons for us. Good afternoon, truckers, good afternoon. When you use the CB there, you see that it lights up red when you're talking on the CB. Hello, hello everybody on the one line. Hello, hello. So we're about an hour and 45 minutes to get to Ren. I should have shown you as well when they other people on the map when they're close to you they come up there with their name the company that they've made up the company name and their server number my server number there is 795 so if anyone wants to talk direct to me they can send me a direct message crashed into someone they want to report me they say there was um, 795 drove into me deliberately ran me off the road Oh, 
probably more realistic playing without, uh, not, I mean, playing not on multiplayer. Because you've got, as I said before, more cars, having trucks on the road. I think the next stream I do, I'll probably do. hammering through this 50 mile an hour speed limit here at 64. Naughty naughty. Tut, tut. Oh, got someone behind us. See that little blue dot on the map down there? Is there someone behind us? So we're just going to slow it down a bit. Try and be a little bit sensible. If they want to come in and overtake, they can. Stick into our lane. We can have a look in our mirror there. See when they're going to overtake. They're still coming in. I hope they pulled off. So they turned off down, down over that way. Oh, there they are in the background there. So he was probably slowing down to go down there anyway. Game time, quarter to six in the morning. It's starting to get nice and light now. Probably a little bit easier viewing wise, a bit easier on the eyes. Destination. blue dot on the map there so we're catching up with someone so in the distance there eh? from a distance keep and then exit oh we got a speed in the fence Mark here. So we're going to head on around this roundabout, following our fellow trucker here. Keep going around. So we're now going in the right direction. And we've discovered Wrens. This is the first time we've been here. Start 
start slowing down. Get ourselves in this lane here. The company we're looking for is called Globber. 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 There, like that. There's a sign there for Glob Air. Stop at the red light here. Yeah. Oh. Typical, goes green as you stop at it. There's the set logistics there on the left. Sign. Glare. Put that third camera there, you can see how close you are to the to the lights. Sat now round here, round round. And it looks like we'll be going in there, I think. Yeah, there we are. Glober. Oh nice, nice colour building. Lovely. There's worth Bob over there. Skyrim on his Siggy break. So, what are we going to do with this? We're going to park it up there, or we're going to park it there, or we're going to let them do it for us. We're going to park it there. So that's our space over there. So just spin that round, spin it round, spin it round, spin it round, spin it round. Straighten her up, I'll do. Pop our four ways on. And we're going to back her in there. See if we can get it in straight this time. See the concentration in the eyes. There we go. Well, straighter than it has been previous attempts. And we're in. We've got what they call the green ding. So we're into cab mode. Put a handbrake on. Switch our engine off. And we're going to unload our trailer. So there it is, we've done a couple of runs there with you. I hope you've enjoyed that so far. I'm not going to do another one now. We're, uh, we're going to be ending the, the line. I was just going to show you the map quickly. I see a little blue dot coming around there. Someone driving around there. You got the UK, France, half of Spain, Italy, islands down there. It's a large map. Obviously, the yellow bits are the bit where I've driven before. The white bits I haven't been to. Got your war zones here, what I call the war zones. Let's 
we'll go up here. What's the map where are we? Oh, there we are there. All the way up to this little island up here. Good fun driving up there. What's the snow? And we come back down here. Back through Europe back up into the UK and as I said before we've got Iceland at the top you've got Isle of Man Wales Ireland you can even go to Jersey look not many jobs in Jersey I wouldn't have thought a couple of companies there well one company Gallia So there we go. I hope you have enjoyed this stream. Um, I aimed for about an hour. I think it's been about an hour. We will do another one probably tomorrow night, around about the same time, if you're interested. Um, feel free to hit the like, not the like, the subscribe button, if you like the subscribe. If you've enjoyed it, if you haven't, don't bother. <laughs> Uh, pleasure's all mine. Uh, hopefully, catch you tomorrow night. We'll, uh, we'll do some heavy haul machinery, and we'll also we won't do multiplayer tomorrow. We'll do a normal player where we can have other people on the roads with us. Makes the game a bit more fun, a bit more exciting. So again, thank you very much and uh, hope you catch you tomorrow. It's good night from him and good night from me.